Hey everybody, welcome to, it's not really Marathon Mondays, but I'm Mal Williams with Marathon Coach. And if you have any questions or comments throughout this video, we're going to have a lot of fun today. Uh, that's why we decided to go live and show you this coach. This is 1269. 1269 is a H2 slide. Um, and for this tour, we're going to bring in Bob Chavaria. Bob has been with Marathon. I'm gonna try and move this around here. Bob's been with Marathon for over 20 years and he's one of our uh, supervisors for the engineering department. Um, well, we just talked about title. Uh, Project engineer. Project engineer. That's right. So a big thanks to Bob. Uh, a lot of knowledge uh, that he's gonna be able to bring to this and we'll be able to see a really cool uh, uh, 1269 that we looked at a couple weeks ago. Try to get that out of the way. The first thing we want to show you is the side of the coach uh, the, because the paint really ties in to the travertine tile that is throughout the coach on the inside. So when you see this design right here, this rainforest design that directly ties in to the inside. So let's go inside and take a look at 1269. After you, sir. Yep. We're gonna go shoes off on this. All right, come on in everybody. All right, so 1269, like we said, is a double slide, and as it is an H, the driver is a little bit lower than the living quarters here. And basically, we're going to just let Bob give us a tour, and we are going to um, ask questions as we move along. So, Bob, uh, here we are in the salon. Okay, well, this is what we call an HN floor plan, and it has to do with the center shower, um, separate commodes, um, and along with the, the style of dinette that we have in here. Um, we have a nice fireplace feature on this style. Now we've been doing this on the H3s for a while now, um, but on custom coaches, we have seen them being converted into more of a storage area, which the customers really like. But some customers uh, are heavy into storage, so they basically will pull this and add either a drawer bank okay. or open storage, shelving, and so forth. Uh, so it, it kind of goes both ways depending on the customer's preference. Okay, gotcha. Um, up here in the front, you can see, which I really like, is our snack tray, which not only can isolate just for the driver, but can be shared for the co-pilot and the driver. Um, it's not large, but it's enough for snacks, uh, drink. The co-pilot will have their own drink area so they don't have to consume the, the area on the snack tray. Um, we also do have an additional snack tray that you can insert that's larger. So okay. depending on how they use uh, the coach driving down the road, we can uh, give them whatever option they need. And I really like the design behind our snack tray because it does tuck out of the way quite well. It does, it does. Now the only thing is you do lose some of the storage with our new modified handrail, but Again, when a customer comes around and they change this, we change back to the old style handrail and we can incorporate a little storage compartment here. Very nice. So it's very nice. Okay. I love the, I love the leather uh, and the two-tone uh, from the dash to the seating up here. And you can see right now we have the TV down. Uh, obviously in motion, the TV would be up. Right. And they would utilize the 32 inch uh, inside of the slide up. Obviously not the driver, <laughs> <laughs> but the, someone else sitting in the salon area. Okay. So when the, when the, uh, when the ignition is on, actually that TV will it's be It's inoperable. Up. Gotcha. Correct. Okay, correct. So that's just a safety feature. So the 32 inch Samsung here could be used by passengers. Correct. So okay. even though the slide out is in and compacted, you still are able to sit in either of these seats and, and watch the TV. Right. Um, some customers do prefer to have this on uh, a bracket to where it can 
tip out okay and they can view it easier from these two locations because right now with the angle it's a little difficult for this person to see it sure. straight on so okay. um, that again is another customer preference that uh, we can utilize at any point let's talk about this floor because it is beautiful yes so you've got some tra or uh, bamboo which is really nice and then the marble um, like you said they have it on the fireplace so it all goes together um, the design is random. It's a little busy, but with the way the rest of the interior design has uh, picked out the colors and the textures, it really looks sharp in here. We did a segment for Marathon Mondays a couple weeks, well, maybe maybe close to a month ago, uh, where we talked with uh, about um, the tile work mm -hmm. throughout this coach. And I know that you're uh, that you know a lot about the tile work. Um, and we talked about the tile work and how uh, how much how many man hours oh, yeah. went into the shower alone. Yeah, yeah, pretty well, impressive. <laughs> yeah, um, and all of the tile, especially in this coach, is heated. The wood floor isn't heated. Obviously, it doesn't get as cold as the tile. Sure. So, uh, we have two zones. We have a rear zone and we have the forward zone. Uh, so you can pick whatever temperature you'd like. Most people keep it at the same. Uh, temperature okay. just because it's comfortable. Um, in the shower we have the same uh, marble with a couple other designs but uh, lately we've been getting a little complicated not I shouldn't say complicated just a better design feature in some of the showers and it does consume a lot of man hours uh, but the end result is incredible. It's so. beautiful absolutely and I like the two-tone of the uh, sleeper sofa also. Yes, this is a this is a jackknife. So basically, you lift up on it, it clicks, it folds down. Uh, typically, we would uh, give them a what we call a, a sleeping wedge, which goes in between, so that it's a little more comfortable if there are two people laying on it. Okay, so like it would run through here. Correct. So okay. it flattens it out, and so a little more comfortable. And this is a really nice size. It's definitely... And you have some storage below, so whether you want to put sheets, comforters, even the storage lids, uh, all kinds of lower level um, storage. Okay. Uh, it's, it's not huge, but it's extra. And, they and a lot it. of people like this storage Correct. back here. Correct. Yeah. These are, these are pouches, so when you pull them out, you can put whatever you want. You can actually still get sheets, um, blankets, or whatever. That There's enough also. room for that. That's correct. Okay. Mickey, as we move along, is there any other questions or comments? Yes, we have Derek from Virginia. Who hey, says Derek. Hello. And then we have Lawrence who wants to know if there are any plans in the future for an H345 with two full bathrooms. And this might also be a good time to mention that they can email you for the price of the coach. That's right. Any questions on cost of the coach? Let's talk about it at malw at marathoncoach.com. Now, who asked the question? Is that Lawrence? Lawrence. That's my guy, Lawrence. Thanks again, Lawrence, for always watching and commenting. Um, let's talk about that. How do you feel about two full baths? It's a give and take. Okay. Uh, if you want the two full baths, you're going to give up a lot of storage. Uh, whether if you're looking for a bunk, that's definitely out of the picture. Okay. Um, because you got a certain real estate between the two slides that you can't take up any more room. Sure. So. It goes over on the opposite side. You take up a lot of storage. You consume a lot more water, especially if you're dry camping. Right. But it's a great feature. Uh, but it's only for certain people who either have additional people always with them. Um, so okay. we haven't seen it, and that's probably the reason. Storage is a high priority in these smaller dwellings. Gotcha. You know, it's not a large home. So right. Yeah. Well, good question. Good question. Uh, two chairs, two recliners right here. Yeah, um, tip, sometimes we would be, in one of these drawers, would be consumed with a all-in-one printer, copier. Okay. Um, you have a nice little feature here. Yeah, I really like that. So you can put your laptop there, be comfortable in your chair, and still be able to use it. Sure. Um, because sometimes, you know, obviously with the lamp here, it's difficult to get a, a even a smaller laptop on there. Right. So it's, it's a pretty nice feature. You have magazine racks on both sides, so either person sitting here can utilize. Okay. You also have storage behind here. Thank you, Mel. Same, little pouch, 
but you can also store your laptop That's in there, good. cords and so forth. That's and good then, utilization of yeah, space. Yeah, it is. And we try to do that in, in every location that we can. It's a, it's a high priority. So some more shelving, more storage. Now also, in this area, we have data hookups. So let's say the Wi-Fi goes down right. and you're hooked up. So you're able to uh, hook up hardwire for your laptop. Okay. Also, our outlets, all of our lower outlets, not our upper outlets, but our lower outlets, are all integrated with USB ports. Very good. So really nice feature. Yeah, that's excellent. And I also like how this right here is basically running with the same theme and now that's an actual photograph of these correct it is it you know, what it is is that we take a photograph and we print it on vinyl and we backlight it okay so we could take the exact look of whether it's tile leather uh, fabric we can duplicate it that's, that's nice and you'll see we do the same thing up here in the ceiling design yeah the theme runs throughout it's very nice I really do like this ceiling it's, yeah it's, it's really nice now let's talk about the ceiling because you can tone it down or you can spice you, it up, right? You can, and you can change the colors. We have every color. So this is an RGB lighting system. Okay. So you can leave it on a certain color if, if that's the theme of your interior, or you can let it go through a mixture of colors or the whole spectrum. Sure. Yeah. That's really nice. All right, how about uh, stepping into the galley here and uh, you mentioned uh, the floor plan. So uh, what type of dinette do we have here? Uh, this is an L angled dinette with a motorized tabletop. So um, depending on the size of the person sitting back there, it will move front to back. And it also pivots so that it's easier for somebody to get in on one side. I really That's like correct. that. I also like not just the ease of use getting in and out, but could have it like a buffet you can and some customers like to bring additional chairs oh they'll set up a couple of chairs out here if it's difficult for them to be sitting somewhere else for so, sure yeah it's it's a it's really nice setup um, you have additional storage back behind here um, great for bottles of wine <laughs> and another thing I like about this is the attention to detail that our guys do every fit every uh, surface is finished. Yes. It's lined, yes. it's laminated, there's no exposed you, you surfaces. You will not see any raw plywood. It's nice. No. It's, it's nice. Along with this spot over here. And then you've got additional storage obviously in the pedestal. You've got large drawers underneath and around. Excellent. Yeah. Uh, one more thing about the flooring. Um, how many man hours does it take to lay flooring like this? Well, um, on a design like this, uh, obviously we have different people doing different jobs. The wood floor will be done by a couple of gentlemen and uh, the tile will be done by separate people also. Okay. But in combination of the two, um, we're talking uh, a couple hundred hours for the whole flooring, the whole bet. coach. Yeah. Um, in fact, uh, a shower will typically take 40 to 50 hours by itself. Yeah. That's incredible. Yeah. I'd be in trouble if I didn't show off the tiki bird that, that Al put up here. Gotta love that as part of the, de part of the decor. Um, so let's talk about uh, the refrigerator design. Now this is Fisher Paykel? Fisher Paykel. Paykel. That's gotcha. Right. And same company that does our That is store? correct. Okay. Yes. Um, we were going with a Sub-Zero refrigerator, but right. they discontinued the model and it's very difficult to get a model to fit in a, the height of the H3. Okay. Uh, in fact, even with the Sub-Zeros that we had, we had to cut out the ceiling and the floor and put a plate in because of the height. Uh, when they discontinued the model, this was the only model comparable. It's wider, but it's shorter. So you can see, when we open it up, we utilize the space up above for wine. It's wonderful. Um, sometimes they won't choose the wine holder and they'll want uh, open storage for okay. pots, pans. Uh, Cereal boxes. Exactly. Okay. And fit up there. Sure. So this is a double door. I love the double door fridge. Yeah. It's yeah. beautiful. Now this, you can see, looks like 
four drawers, but it is. <laughs> and and this is nice. And my initial look at this freezer was that it was one big bin, but there's these partitions in here. Correct. That is really nice. It's a lot of storage in it, and you can access the storage a lot better than one full size right. bin. Right. That's correct. And that basically the reason we do this in the front, a large panel, it just doesn't look as attractive gotcha. as four drawers. And it does. It looks very elegant. Yeah. I really like it. They do a great job lining everything up. Our crew does a great job. And I, I, I really like this color. Uh, in fact, uh, there was a couple gentlemen that were at the show, and people coming into the show coach couldn't find the refrigerator. Yeah, there it <laughs> they is. They thought it was a closet. Absolutely. Actually. Yeah. And we've got uh, pantry storage here. That's correct. It's a push latch and... Ducktail bamboo? Yep. Okay. Yep. Um, so on this style here are pantries, since typically you would put canned goods in there. Sure. It gets quite heavy. So when you turn the engine on, when the, the key is activated, these automatically lock. So okay. That for any reason, going around a corner, they don't break and slide open. Absolutely. Same with our refrigerator. And, and is that also same with it the... Is, it is. Okay, with yep. the dish Because drawer. if you have it full of pots, pans, glassware, it can get a little heavy going around a corner. It could open up and do some damage. That's excellent. Yeah. Okay. So moving into the midsection of the coach, into the bathroom area. Well, that is just... That really came out nice. <laughs> quite bright. Let's tone it down a little bit. There we go. Now uh, this is an element we saw uh, actually being uh, done out here. So, <laughs> going wow. back to the hours. For this shower here, everything except for this feature wall, this feature section, this feature section alone took 100 hours. And it is a piece of art though. Yeah. It's beautiful. Um, I'm not sure if, if everybody can see the detail, but each of these individual areas are actually individual pieces of stone. So it's quite interesting. Uh, and they did a, an incredible job putting it together. Most people probably wouldn't line up grout lines on such things, but we do. Right. Attention to detail. It is. It is. And that's what sets us apart. It's a beautiful shower. Tell us about the door. This door, so uh, a lot of our floor plans, we've been switching from a swing door just because of the inefficient, it, they, they tend to leak. Okay. Okay. Uh, no matter what you do with the sweeps, uh, it just they just tend to leak. This, actually, should be on this side, is air powered. And with the way we have it set up, there's a lower section that keeps the water from coming out. So typically you open a door and the suction from the sweep below right. pulls water right on out no matter what. Exactly. This, we, we've never had a single leak down at the lower bottom. Wow. Yeah. Another thing about it, it's got a squeegee, right? It does have a squeegee from the inside, so it squeegees all of the water back into the shower and away from the interior of the pocket. That's great design, well thought out. We do lots of rain heads. Yeah, those are real popular. They now, are, right? they are. And we still do our handheld that's that's mounted on the wall, um, just in case. I mean, you always want to be able to pull it away and use it. Absolutely. But uh, you can see the detail. We don't. We just don't put a fixture up on the ceiling and leave it alone. We we cover as much as we can with the the nicer materials that right. we can. Now, really nice finishings in the shower. Yeah. I, and another thing that I like about a pocket door for here is it adds dimension to this hallway. It does. It opens it up. It's not mm -hmm. necessarily just like a hallway. It's like rooms. Yeah. Yeah. So, Mickey, before we move on, are there any comments or questions? We have two questions. Reginald would like to know what coach platform this is on. And Mike would like to know what's the average delivery timeline from order date. Well, Reginald, thanks again for watching and commenting. Uh, Reginald's question was, uh, what is the platform that this is on? So this is an H3, H3 chassis, chassis from slide. Prevo. Correct. Um, well, let's talk real quick. So Volvo, 500 horsepower. Correct. 
1725 on the on the torque? Yes. Is that pro pro it, I think that's correct. That's correct. And it's with the Allison uh, 400 uh, transmission. Okay. So, yeah. And they're all they've all been updated for the EPA compliance. So, they run very efficient. Excellent. And what was the other question, Mickey? The other question is what's the average delivery time um, timeline from the date that it's ordered? Well, and that's probably the, the best person to ask a question about how long the delivery takes from when it when it starts to when it finishes, it would be Bob. So what do you think? Well does it depend? It, it depends. It depends. Just now I was with customers yesterday and their coach actually will hit the floor here in a couple of weeks. But two months ago I was with a NASCAR driver and he ordered his two months ago but it won't hit the floor for another couple of weeks. So it varies. Gotcha. But our cycle time for build is around 13 to 14 weeks. Okay. Okay. So it all depends on, and does it depend on uh, custom features? Oh yeah, definitely. Okay. Definitely. Uh, we have anything from, let's say our, our average coach is probably about 92, 9,500 hours to complete. Okay. Uh, this doesn't take uh, any hours as far as behind the scenes, uh, engineering, getting with the customer, and so forth. This is just build hours when it hits the floor. Right. But we've had custom coaches at 12,500. Oh, yes. So it, it, it varies uh, the depending on the, the complexity of the project. Okay. Yeah, definitely. Good questions. Thank you, you guys, for commenting and questions. Keep them coming if you've got more as we move along through the tour of 1269. Uh, this uh, here we have uh, now Jay Graham told me that this is not necessarily a TV it's a um, not a monitor what did he call it a display a display a display, a display. because we also tested putting up a aquarium correct you could put photos of your family uh, a safari type theme would go oh well yeah on this coach it would sure Sure. So and you could you, use it as a display, not just a television. Exactly. Or you exactly. could continue watching the football game. Christmas time, get the Yule log up oh, there. Oh, see, that's a great you idea. <laughs> that's a great idea. Huh. But typically on these floor plans, when you have the shower on one side and the TV is exposed, that's typically the floor plan that we would actually put a TV. Not all water closets get TVs. Gotcha. Because for one, is while you're using uh, the basin, you can't really see the TV, even through the mirror. Right. It's typically utilized by being in the shower, watching the game, getting ready in the morning with the news, yep. and so forth. So on a bunk coach where the bunks are on one side and the shower and the commode and, and everything is on the other, there is no display? No. Gotcha. No. Okay. We can still put a picture up there. Sure. We just can't put a TV. Not, okay. Gotcha. All right. So... If there's any other comments or questions, keep them coming, you guys. I think we're going to move on into the the bedroom. Boy, that's a nice carpet. It is nice. All right. So that's a big closet. It's a walk-in wardrobe. We've got a double door. So basically, you've got double doors that come across, and I will show you. There you go. That's nice. Since it's a larger span, a single door within the pocket that it has will not cover the span, so we double up the door. Okay. Thank you. And another uh, one thing that I really like, I've always liked this, I like the design. The, the magnetic. The magnetic design, correct. yes. It's so simple, but it's it's yet so so genius to, to have because you know it's going to stay. And it will. They've done brake tests and it, we've yet to have one come off. That's so great. yeah, that's always nice. And I also like how this back wall is lined with the, uh, the engineered yeah. leather. And typically we'll either do the vinyl or okay. leather or at least the laminate because if you start doing fabric on here, what happens is the movement of the coach will wear out the side of your clothing. Okay. As it's moving and brushing along. So we try to keep it as smooth as possible for that reason. Gotcha. Um, we have a little drawer bank here. Miscellaneous storage. Um, 
all of if you can step into an area we always do emergency egress and lighting and, and a door activation switch on the inside okay just, just just for precautionary reasons that's good so, yeah that's good and once you do hit the emergency egress button it basically shuts down the air system and all the pocket doors open regardless oh. so hopefully somebody isn't in the bathroom right. at that point in time <laughs> when that happens but it, they do open are these ASCOs? Yes, there we go. they are. Double oh. stack. Okay. Very nice. Shirt closet? It is. Now this is this is the one where we have a, here's our wall safe, our hidden wall safe. I don't know if I should be uh, actually showing people this. Well, <laughs> and I know that I know that but you guys move them around. We do, we do. Uh, especially depending on if it's a quad, we actually have it on the opposite side. Gotcha. Um, also in the back on an X, we will typically have it in the back area. So, so. you guys put them in random locations. Yes, we do. Uh, depending on the floor plan. Okay. Lots of storage down here. Lots of storage. Good sized drawers. Nightstand. Um, Interior design really likes features on these walls. If it's a, a full-size wall where they can do some picture recesses, right? We'll try to utilize that. I like that. So yeah, that when I the slide too. comes in, it's it doesn't affect the photo or the frame. Correct. So, the bed is this a bamboo bed? It is. That's yep. There you go. Okay, and uh, it's a full king, right? It's a full king. Mm -hmm. 76 by 77. 76 by 77 uh, with uh, 12 inch uh, contours down yep, here. Yeah, and it has a three inch taper on the sides. Okay. Uh, the three inch taper we do due to the fact that yeah, getting around these beds is sometimes complicated and narrow. And so when, when we taper it, you it's just a little easier. Sure. Um, and you really don't see it. Um, we customize the the mattress and the bed platform for it. Okay. Have a small uh, headboard here. This also is made for egress. So in case of an emergency, it does flip down. Oh. Okay. Yeah. So you have access. You have to have two points of uh, exit at entrance. Uh, so the hallway would be one, and one of these windows would be the other. Okay. Lots yeah. of storage up top there. That's correct. I like these I like are, how these. Yep. Yeah. Even the sides. Very nice. Yeah. Yeah, it's good utilization of storage. You have your reading lights underneath here, both independent and okay. both dimmable. Oh, they are dimmable. They That's are dimmable. Nice. In fact, even the sconce lights are dimmable. Which. Here's the sconce, so you can brighten it up, depending on the mood, and they will dim down, along with the individual spotlights. So it's very nice. This reading light will dim down depending on yeah. If your partner is sleeping, it's always nice not to have it too bright. That's well <laughs> thought out. Yeah. How about how about this TV, huh? Yep, 49 inch Samsung 4K. Um, this is uh, our standard size for the bedroom. Uh, on a quad, we would do a 55 inch. Okay. Yeah. Gotcha. Now, the, the um, this is not, it appears to be curved. But it isn't. Curved. But it is not. Right, okay. Uh, we do do the curved one standard, the 55 inch. That's in on the quad. quad, okay. That's correct. For some reason, this always appears curved to me. Well, and it's. Probably because of the angle of the two side cabinets. Okay. Yeah. Gotcha. Lots of storage down here. Yeah. This is really great. And this this is maximized obviously for the span you have here when the slide out comes in. Okay. Um, sometimes we can fudge this, but what has to happen is you have to have the bed in an, an incline. So uh, when when the two on a quad especially if you have the two rooms coming in you're really tight on space yes so sometimes we'll have a drawer bank that actually slides in so the bed can fit inside it okay yeah it's uh, we try to maximize all the space possible okay and speaking of maximizing space you got more storage over there that's correct 
Um, here's a nice linen area, upper, lower. We split the doors so that when the room is in, you can still open one of the doors over the top of the nightstand. That's great. Yeah. And then, of course, your nightstand area. So the rear half bath. Correct. Not what? a full. I mean, you got your shower up here, but not a full back here. Okay. There we go. Dim that down a little. Again, the backsplashes. That's so pretty. Yeah. So well done. Uh, Bob, talk about the covered toilet. The covered toilet. We only do the covered toilets in the rear. And the reason for that is when you're up at the very front, it's visible. You don't want to be looking um, at it, yeah. If it was on the side, uh, like it is in the center, we don't cover it. But sure. since it's back here and it's visible, if you have all your doors open, we tend to cover it. And it's a really nice feature, actually. And it's the, the covers are easily removed for cleaning, is that it correct? Is, it is. Okay. Or if a customer typically just doesn't want to have it in here, sure. they can remove it. And then uh, good storage down here and up here. Correct. Yeah. We've got some lower storage here. A single drawer with adjustable shelving below. And then you've got wiring access. We do. Which looks like modern art. Correct. It's just beautiful back there. <laughs> yeah. That's one thing that we like to show off is the attention to detail. Everything has um, been labeled in multiple locations and can be easily accessed if needed. Yeah. That's great. Yeah, it always appears curved to me for some reason, but I think you're right. It's because of these. So what else catches your eye about this coach? I mean, you've been in hundreds of coaches, Bob, over the years. What what catches your eye that you like about what, what you guys did on this one? I love the ceiling. I do uh, too. You know, uh, and I love red. I love the red in here. I think it just goes well with uh, all of the colors. Yes. Um, along with the floor. I, I, I'm a big bamboo guy, yeah, and I just love pretty. the different colors and textures. Um, this one here, you can see, is a replication of a hand-scraped bamboo. Uh, you can see the wave in it, so it has a lot of texture to it. It's not just flat and smooth. Okay. So it, it really, it's a little more rustic looking, and it goes hand in hand with the tile. Yeah, it is pretty. It is. Good job on the decor. So this is an Al Christensen interior designed. Odds and evens. Odds and evens. Odds and evens. And also elephants, right? Yes. I mean, there's Alan is odd and Brenda is even. Okay, that's great. I like the uh, the brushed style on here. Instant hot here, right? Yes, it is. And all of our lid storage, we have a holder down below all of the lid storage so it slides right into these pockets you have your trash bin next to it you have open storage for your uh, cleaning supplies and so forth utensil drawers your cooktop your microwave obviously um, sometimes we will hide the microwave yeah that's right behind the, doors. The drawers that come in. Okay. Um, the reason, uh, and when we do, lately we've been going to the Fisher Paykel okay. because of this handle. Oh. You start deepening up this area and you start losing room for your blind back here. Okay. So what has happened if they want to stick with the, the GE, the profile, they have to do a backsplash back here, a stone backsplash. Gotcha. Okay. Because we run out of depth. Okay. But if they go to a Fisher Paykel, which basically doesn't have a handle, it's, it's a lot easier to set behind. Okay. And I always like this drawer because it shows all the remotes <laughs> for all the audio visual in the house. And you can see this notch out that goes around the drain. Yeah. So we try to... Still utilizing the yes. space. Yeah. That's a lot of remotes. It's a lot of remotes and you don't, <laughs> you don't need a one of them because everything is fully integrated into the Crestron iPad system. Correct. And there's three iPads on, on board? Yes. Two above, one below. 
Excellent. So the Entertainment Bay also has it the does. iPad. It does. Right on. Well, pretty much, uh, I think we have a couple of questions, and what a treat to be able to take your time uh, because your you've, your wealth of knowledge uh, is evident in this uh, tour. Uh, what what uh, kind of questions do we have there, Mickey? So first, we have a comment from Brad that says exquisite craftsmanship, and hello from Texas. Oh, hello, Brad. Excellent. Um, then Brandon wants to know from the day he would come in to order to the day he would come in and take the coach away, how long is that process? The first thing would be depending on which, you know, does he want an H which or an X? Well, and which chassis. Um, if we look in the order form, if, if there are four H3s and he wants an X, it's going to be out a little farther. So he could come in, spec out his coach, but the chassis would have to wait. So typically you're looking at around nine months. And he can always email me uh, and I can tie that down for him if it's something he's interested in, in ordering. Brandon, just uh, malw at marathoncoach.com. And Derek would like to know, does Marathon have a super slide edition? A super slide edition? No. <laughs> <laughs> And then Reginald says the floor plan is off the hook. Great, great design, great selection of stones. They're beautiful. Awesome. Thank you, Reginald, for, for the comments and always watching. Um, and to everyone who watched today, uh, feel free to keep commenting. I will be asking Bob questions uh, either in person throughout the office or via email Correct. Uh, so that he can really give us the expertise. Uh, like you guys well know, I'm the new guy here at Marathon and I'm learning and that's why we utilize someone like Bob and uh, that's, it's, a, it's really a cool thing for me because I'm learning from people that have amazing experience and uh, so you taking the time to do this is awesome. So thank you so much. I want to help you sell. Hey, I like that. <laughs> I, I want you to help me too. <laughs> that keeps my job going. There so. you go. So if you have any other comments or questions, uh, right there on Facebook or YouTube, it'll be up on YouTube in the next 15, 30 minutes, uh, or you already know it, malw at marathoncoach.com. You can email me direct, and we can answer your questions direct. Uh, thank you so much for watching, and thank you so much for, for Bob. Thank you. Uh, for your time. Thank you. And uh, we'll be seeing Bob again soon on these tours of the coaches, because we are shooting on Marathon Mondays with Mal. We're shooting to do uh, a coach tour every third show. Uh, whether that happens or not, we're, we're yet to find out, but uh, that's what we're going to do. So we'll see you every Monday at 9 a.m. Pacific for Marathon Mondays, and then randomly, like today is a Wednesday, for these tours. Take care, everybody. Bye.